is privacy online dead? Well, governments would want you to believe that privacy online is dead and would also want to redefine it so that it is easier for them to collect data and it's easier for them to legitimize mass surveillance. But if the truth is that if privacy was really dead, we would surveillance the surveillance industry wouldn't be a multi-million dollar industry. Governments wouldn't be investing resources, money, forces and you know litigation into legitimizing um, mass surveillance and mass collection of data. So no, privacy isn't dead. What are the worst threats to privacy online? The worst threat to privacy online is that governments, especially in the developing, in developed countries, have found that the new way to censor or limit speech is surveillance because surveillance allows you the perfect solution to limit dissent because people then start practicing self-censorship. So when individuals start practicing self-censorship, you do not need to censor content. You do not need to get bad publicity where you are a government that's curbing down opposition. You allow them to speak whatever they want with the knowledge and with giving them, you know, intimidating them with the fact that you are always watching and any information that they put up, any contact that they have, any way that they communicate can be, will be used against them. And what are the solutions as you see it? We, I mean, for solutions have come through post node and a lot of solutions that have come through civil society organizations that have just grouped together. And I think the one thing that's very important is that we do not need, to, we need to stop bifurcating the world of internet governance between the developed countries and developing countries. We've seen that both sides, both governments have used, even, even, even developed countries that are so-called have legal protections will use these legal protections to justify mass surveillance. We've seen that. And so it is very important that initiatives like uh, the Nestor in Proportionate Principles and other initiatives taken by civil society organizations are adopted, localized according to local sensitivities and pushed. And the, the future would be pushing back on big corporates, all, but also pushing back greatly on governments into limiting mass collection of data, into limiting surveillance and stopping them from redefining what privacy means.